My name is Mike Heckel from Beloit, Wisconsin. I drive a 2020 Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body in Froth Light Blue. I've always been a Dodge guy. The Challenger is, to me, is the one that actually kept its original roots from the 1970s. Looks a little bit more meaner to me. It looks, the stance is a little bit lower. The tires are 305s all the way around, so it's a square setup. It actually is made for track, actually road courses instead of a drag strip. Air intake is pretty neat. It actually uh, has intakes right next to the uh, headlights, so it actually feeds the air box a little bit more air to get in there to help combustion. It's on the license plate, I got my, my uh, red key, so everybody knows it's a Hellcat. So the Hellcat Red Eye actually has the Demon engine in it, so it's at 797 horses from the factory for crank horsepower. The two keys that everybody knows about has the red key and the black key. The red key unlocks the 797 horses. The black key keeps it at 500. Going down. It's a fully loaded rat eye. I think the only thing it doesn't have is adaptive cruise control. It's Alcantara interior. It is extremely spacious according to, uh, if you sat in a Mustang or if you sat in a, a, a Camaro, it's actually a lot more room in there for people. It, it's, it's a bigger car. They call it the boat land yacht. So it's a very big car for being a sports car. I learned about ProClip from owning the Challenger and being on Facebook. I noticed the uh, people talking about it, saying it's a, it's a good mount and one of the better ones to have. So I investigated it, researched it, and got one. I started with the iPhone holder first, uh, mounts to the center of the dash. It's, it's a wonderful product. I currently switched over to get the direct connection tune from Dodge and the Diablo Sport tuner. The tuner mount, it, they put them in the center of the, uh, the console, of the actual dashboard. To me, it actually makes more sense to keep it on the left side. So once you actually set your tune for your car, it just monitors the, all the sensors that are going on that you have it set up for. And then you can actually have your phone back to the right side where it's the most convenient. So it's actually wired underneath to the OBD2 port for the tuner. And all I had to do is just move the wire to the other side to uh, use the vent mount. So when I'm, I did all my research, I found that the mount actually goes in, just slips into the actual seams of the dash. There's no damage to the device, or the, to the dashboard. There's no glue, there's no screws to stick in. It just mounts in there and it's, it's friction mounted it just holds. It, it's a great device. It doesn't wiggle, it doesn't drop, it doesn't fall off. It, it, it actually works. I drive for a living, so a lot of my uh, mounts that I've had in, in vehicles, uh, magnet mounts and uh, clip mounts, they, they never hold, they never stay there. I've had this for two years and I've never had one problem yet. Oh. Mm -hmm.